My name's Matt Phillippe. I'm the Surfing Ninja from the Sunshine Coast. Ran the Ninja course last year for season two. I missed out by one spot to get to the grand final. Being up there, you only get one chance, one opportunity to show how good you can be on the night. To be able to do it again, plus have my twin brother with me, so he can have the experience with me as well, it's just amazing. I'm the older brother. I was born five minutes first. I've got what it takes to step it up and beat my brother. I'm pretty confident. Nah, 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 nah. I'm Jules, I'm married to Lou. And I'm Emma, and I'm married to Matt. We even get them mixed up sometimes. We, we get mistaken for sisters. We live four houses apart. They can actually get on the roof and wave to each other. Where is he? There he is, look at him. Can't even get away from him. Catching your path. Catching your path. Ninjas definitely, um, yeah, takes over their lives. They just love it. They live and breathe it. <laughs> I think Matt will take it out between the two. We'll see. see about that one. <laughs> I'm going to put money on this. OK, let's do it. <laughs> it's a twinathon. First up, Matt Felipe, 33 from Queensland. Here he comes up from Matt Felipe, and he's away. It is. Easily through the floating steps. Oh, he's not hanging around. Jumps onto the butterfly wall, spinning round. Eyeing up that rope. Two metres away, big leap. Oh, nice and easy, Matt Felipe. Now on to the tuning forks. Need to step right in the centre of these pads. They'd be hard enough without moving, but the moment they move, there's trouble on. He can get up quickly. He will be safe. He and gets he is. there. Yes, that is a huge recovery. And have a look at the Felipe clan. They're going crazy down there. Matt's wife, Emma, on the right. Luke's wife, Julie, on the left. The rolling steel should be no problem for the first of the surfing twinges. He looks strong, pumping that upper body. He's quick, just a couple of seconds slower at this point than Leonard Hamoan. Now, with just one more obstacle before the wall wall or the mega wall wall. Yeah, baby. But that obstacle, Freddie, is the double squirrel and it's taken out a couple of promising ninjas already tonight. Let's see if Matt can do better. And the hard thing about this, you've had two obstacles in a row. Yes! That, revo that rely on upper body strength. But he's got plenty of that. Small Matt Felipe. Wing. He's nearly there. Lands it. <laughs> it's dilemma time. Does he take the war wall or does he take the mega war wall for $5,000? Oh, he's having a look. Is he going to be drawn in by the cash? Oh, he's going mega! He's going mega! This is pretty much a vertical wall. It is 5.2 metres. It's also $5,000 worth. If you make it up this mega warp wall, $5,000 straight into your skyrocket. First go. Come on! Oh, oh he was a fair oh. way off. Now then, Matt Felipe, you get three chances on the mega warp wall. And big news, son, you can't go to the little one. You've got to stay on the mega. He's visualising it. He wants it. He wants the 5K. Oh, gee. Now, this is where it's really tricky. He's only got one more shot. Matt, give it all, Matt. Okay, Matt Felipe. 5.2 metres of wall in front of him. And look at him psych himself up, rev himself up, Go and man, push himself up the wall. No. Oh. So close. He got within a few inches of getting to the top of that wall, Beck, and the money was just there. <laughs> he wanted to grab it, but he just couldn't get his mitts on it.